Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Today um, we're going to take an old window pane that I kind of roughed it up with blue paint. Um, I'm going to create a, an Americana design. I usually do this for in front of my house. This mounts on the wall and it was pretty bad so we have to start from scratch and clean it up. But because I don't have and do not want to use an old flag, I'm actually using this burlap mesh that I had left over from another project from a couple of years ago. Um, I'm actually going to be draping that down this. Now because you probably can't find this, I would use a scarf from the Dollar Tree, um, an Americana scarf. But I want to uh, revamp this. So, this is going to require some maneuvering here because I want this to go over the back here and I want to staple it in a few places. So, I'm going to get out my trusty staple lure and maybe I can do it this way. I would have done this outside. <laughs> But we have such traffic, and you wouldn't be able to hear a thing. So, we're just going to, like, ruffle this up and kind of staple it in various places. It most resembles a flag to me. So... And like I said, it's it's kind of vintage looking, Americana, and that's that's the way I roll. This thing is heavy, but boy, it's great. If you look back through my videos, this was what I asked for for Christmas and got. I use it a lot, and it's nice that it doesn't need to be plugged in. So basically, let me turn this around for you. I just kind of ruffled it along. Probably would have helped if I would have moved that box behind me, but too late. All right. So now, what I want to do is I kind of want this to go down this way, and I may drape it through this pin and bring it out the front because like I said I want it to resemble a flag now let's just see if we can get this the way I want it I actually have some stars we're going to be attaching to this and then when I attach it to the wall I will um, take a picture for you. Now what I'm going to do is like staple and then staple on top of that. So I'm trying to disguise the staples. So to do that I'm going to pull it back and staple the underside and then see? Oh, excuse me again been working with a lot of burlap today all right so we pull it back I'm knocking some bugs out of this <laughs> they've come a crawling there and one more I think right here so it just gives it a little poof Here's what it looks like so far. Just looks like the flag. Now for the stars. Okay, we have a blue star that I'm going to actually get it right about there. And then we have two white ones that I thought one here 
and one down here. Right? They're very rough, which is what I was trying to do. Let's get some rough looking. That didn't stay. All right. So, I'm going to try and weave this through this. Oh. And we're going to try and staple it underneath so it hides the wire. that didn't work. All right, so let's start with new wire. I knew this would be a challenge. this one and let's move that one this is not paint chipped wood I had scrubbed it off before and used regular paint, so there's no lead in this. And that's one thing you really have to be careful with old windows to make sure there's no lead. All right, now this one, I think it kind of went right here. So here's a hole. it through and I'm just stapling the back side of the wire to hold it in place. Oops. Sorry about that. Alright now for our blue star which I think I'm going to put a screw down in here and hook that to that. But this might be a little too long. Let's see if I have a smaller one. Yes, I do. Bye. Now, I think this, I want this to be right about here. To there and I think we're done and we're just going to take this outside and hang it up and then I will take a picture of it for you there's my Americana window 
that hangs on the outside of my house on the wall. I also will take a picture. I have a set of um, church shutters that I will be decorating. So I will take a picture of that. Um, they are blue to match this. So when I'm finished in that area, I'll do a before and after picture so you can see it. All right, thanks for joining me and happy crafting.